Like, no! That's what everyone wants, and I know it. Ah! Hi guys, it's me again. Uh, it's, I feel like it's been so long since I filmed anything. It's been a crazy, um, last, like, week or so. I got engaged! Ah! Like, I can't even believe it still. Like, I got engaged on the 20th? It was, um, like, last Saturday. Uh, and it was so romantic, such a beautiful experience. I'm so excited to get married and to be a wife. Uh, so maybe I'll document that journey as well. I feel like journey is like my favorite word on this channel. <laughs> when I talked about my weight loss video, my fiance was like, uh, he's like, you say journey like so much, like sounds like you're a little hobbit, like going on a journey. <laughs> and it's true. All right, so since May is coming to a close, I want to do like a May favorites. Cause I feel like people don't really like do these videos anymore like when I started watching YouTube videos which was probably like in high school so what what year is that like 2009 <laughs> uh, beauty videos were all the rage and I was watching favorite videos every single month and people still kind of do them but not as consistently as they used to so my engagement ring is definitely a favorite and <laughs> I'm obsessed I'll do like a close-up for you guys but oh uh, I, I did not expect a ring like this like we had talked about um, a ring option that was very inexpensive and like just a little stone like on a band um, I don't know if you watch High Carp Hannah but I was like really into her ring like it's just like a big old rose quartz and she said her ring was like $35 and that was like what I was into I was like I don't want to spend like a ton of money on a ring like it's fine and like I don't know how much this costs but it's so pretty I'm just like obsessed my fiance did such a good job uh, but I'm gonna start off with like beauty favorites because that's what everyone wants and I know it uh, first favorite because it's on my fingernails right now. They're a little beat up like <laughs> from the close-up you probably like Girl you trash, but like I know so this is the nail polish I'm wearing which is Perfect like for literally anything like whatever you're wearing goes with it. It's just like a nude like what is this Revlon? Color stay gel envy these color stay lines are really good. Um, the color is all or nothing <laughs> And I'm just like obsessed with it. Yeah, it's like a really chic color um I feel like uh, if I wear that, I might wear this on my wedding day, like honestly, like just take it to a salon and have them just do a regular manicure on my hands and that'll be it. Okay, next beauty favorite. I actually got this. I actually didn't like this when I first bought this. Uh, I got it at a CCO, a cosmetic company outlet, if you aren't familiar, and they were having a an amazing sale, like 50% off. And like, I'm not a huge fan of CCOs only because like the prices aren't even that like discounted, but the 50% off this came to like $10, pretty much what you would pay for a normal moisturizer at the drugstore. So I thought I'd give it a try and I was so, I was pulled in by the name. Uh, it's Turnaround Daytime Revitalizing Moisturizer is what it says. And like I opened it and there there's specks of glitter or like shimmer all in it. And I was like, no, I was so mad. Cause like I feel like shimmer and a lotion is like a no-no, especially on your face. So I was like ready to exchange it. And then I don't know, I just started wearing it and I love the texture of it. It glides right on and you don't even really see the shimmer, you know, once you put it on. Yeah, I don't know if you can see on camera, it's a little like glossy. But yeah, there's like little specks of shimmer in there. Oh, but it's so like smooth. And then, you know, I have a problem with dryness on my face and it just glides over any of my dry patches. This lip gloss that I featured in my ColourPop like haul and try on video, oh, has been a go-to for me. Uh, I would have worn it today, but I wanted to give some other lipsticks a chance. Uh, you know, I'm not really into like bright colors or anything, but I was like, I haven't worn booty yet. So I'm gonna put it on. And it's super comfortable. This is like a matte lipstick, so comfy. But yeah, this nude uh, is the Aquarius. Uh, nude gloss. It's so perfect for just like throwing on, putting it on your lips, making you look glossy. <laughs> what am I even saying? Like, get together. I'm gonna go into lifestyle favorites now. I have a few. Uh, uh, it's been such a great month. Like, honestly, I feel like a new woman. Like, <laughs> oh, I just feel, I just feel great. Uh, I've been sticking on my medication. Been doing a lot of physical activity, reading. Oh, it's been a great month. Uh, I bought a few little candles just to, like burn around my room. Love the ambiance of candles. And this is my favorite one. You can see I've burned it to like the very bottom and I'm just obsessed with the smell. Ugh, I'm like, 
I wouldn't say like, you know those people who are like, oh, like smells give me a headache. I'm not like that, but definitely certain sand, uh, candle scents can give me a headache. Uh, so, but this one doesn't do that for me and it's just very light, very pretty to like just have in your room burning. Like, uh, I'm gonna get this hopefully in like a bigger size in the future. And the scent is Shampaka Blossom. <laughs> I've never even heard of that before, but. Literally grabbed this out of my garbage can for you because I was like, oh, that's a favorite. Uh, I've been, I know everyone's gonna be like, like insert roll eye emoji here. Like <laughs> exercise has definitely been like a favorite this month and hopefully for months to come. Cause oh my God, I've just been taking a lot of bike rides around the neighborhood, doing a lot of nature walks. If it's crappy out like it is today, I go to the little gym and I just sit on the bike for um, like 30 minutes and it really, oh, it makes me feel so good. Like honestly, especially, I love doing the outdoor stuff because it just like brings in the nature, you get some vitamin D from that sunlight girl. Uh, it's just, uh, I love exercising. I never, I never thought I would love exercising. <laughs> this is a new thing for me. Um, and just like nothing crazy, like 30 minutes of cardio, three, four times a week, sometimes more if I'm feeling it, like today, it really like just revs me up for my day. And uh, my favorite things, <laughs> these are more favorites. My favorite things to listen to um, are the Pandora Station's 2000s rock, um, amazing. <laughs> Evanescence, Breaking Benjamin, Linkin Park, uh, literally uh, Papa Roach, like all these things. I'm just riding in the neighborhood and it's like crawling in my skin, like blasting. And I'm like, hello, Mildred. Like, <laughs> and she's like walking her dog or whatever. So fun. <laughs> and, or I'll listen to podcasts. Um, Paul Gilmartin's podcast, The Mental Illness Happy Hour is my favorite to listen to right now. Waiting for Dear Sugar to come back. Like, I'm waiting, I'm waiting girl. And also um, Ladies Who Lunch is one of my favorites. Um, Oh, another, I switched between the 2000s rock and the Jackie Ivanko station. There's a lot of Enya, <laughs> Jackie Ivanko, obviously Josh Groban, a lot of uh, ambient piano music for your bike ride or like whatever you're doing. <laughs> so those are the two that I switch between. They're very different, but I love them both. I've been reading like a ton. Like I have, these were two books. I have two other books that I'm currently like in the middle of. I don't know if I'll finish the one. It's a little, it's very long. I reestablished my library card. So I've been taking full advantage <laughs> of the free books. If you don't have a library card, you need to like get on that because Barnes and Noble, like why would you pay like $20? Like, like if you like a book that much and you want to like keep it, like of course like purchase it. But libraries are the best resource for like free stuff like if you live in a community you have a library so i would definitely go take advantage of that um my boyfriend gave me a book um litany of the lost sun i want to say or like litany of the sun by um oh, what's that guy's name gene wolf uh it's really good actually um before i started taking my medication it was really hard for me uh to read and to focus on reading like um books that's like a really um not known symptom of depression is that you have a really hard time focusing especially on reading or like watching television uh which was definitely like at its peak <laughs> for me a few months ago and i haven't read a book in probably like since like high school probably like what is that like seven years i haven't read a book in like seven years probably um and now i've read like two books in the last like month it's been great i've been listening to harry potter and the sorcery <laughs> oh my god I've been listening to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone audiobook in my car, and I've finished two books, reading two more, like, I'm just on point with the reading. But these two have definitely been my favorites because through all these books that I've been reading, these went, like, the fastest for me. Like, I just ripped through them. My mom is reading this right now, so that's why there's, like, a bookmark in here. Mother's Reckoning by Sue Klebold I was reading in one of my vlogs, and I loved this book. I might do, like, a book review. I might make that a consistent thing on my channel, like book reviews and things like that, since I'm all about reading now. Um, but yeah, this book was really good. It's really eye-opening for anyone who is suffering with mental illness or knows someone who has mental illness, like, and this is how it, how mental illness ended in a really, really tragic way, not just for him, but for the countless victims of Columbine. And Sue Klebold is so articulate and such a beautiful, strong woman. And I love this book. Like really, she did an amazing job. 
So I really recommend this book. And then this book literally just came out and they had it at the library and I was like, yes, I don't have to pay for it. I uh, heard about it on Paul G. Martin's podcast, The Mental Illness Happy Hour. They did a whole episode with um, Mark Lukacs and his wife. And this is where I heard about the book and I was like, I had to read it. Um, it's called My Lovely Wife in the Psych Ward. And oh my God, this book was so beautiful also. Like uh, my heart was breaking and then being like put back together like with every chapter. Like it's really, it's sad, but in like a good way. Like, I don't know if people like <laughs> relate to me because my mom was like, why are you reading all these sad books? I thought you were trying to feel better. Like, <laughs> but I don't know. They just like give me inspiration that like people are like getting through things. It's really hard to explain. Um, but yeah, this book, it was such a quick read. Mark Lukacs did like such a great job writing this and being true to his wife's story and not um, dancing around the subject. He talked about the issues with their marriage and their relationships with their child. And it's just, it's a really good book also in the mental illness realm. Oh my God. <laughs> um, my friend who we went vegan together like, um, like six months ago, not like together, but my friend who's also vegan uh, came down to visit me and I was like, ooh girl, I'm gonna make you delicious food. And ugh, it was, uh, I made a vegan um, coconut soup with like cilantro and lime and mushrooms. We had eaten something similar at a restaurant once. So I wanted to like recreate it and it was amazing. And I literally just made it a second time because it was so good. Um, I'll do a video where I make it probably if you guys would like to see that. Um, and then we made um, beer battered coconut tofu, which is a recipe that I found on my Twitter. Twitter has like amazing vegan recipes for like all these things I'm following. But yeah, oh, that turned out amazing uh, with some sriracha mayo dipping, some spicy plum sauce. Like, oh, we had a great time like eating all these foods. Sorry, there's like a really chubby bird. <laughs> so, it's like a chubby robin. Anyway. That's pretty much all my favorites, I think, for this month. Uh, I'd love to do this, like, consistently every month. Tons of exciting stuff to come. Wedding planning, cooking, more stuff if you can give me some ideas. Um, I've had a really great time filming this video today, so I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.